ZX twin turbo was sold in the US from 1990 to 1996. This is a 1990. What's shocking is this one has less than 33,000 miles on it. Now I think Todd's gonna be a bit biased towards the 300. After all, he owns one. I love this car. I love this car. This car still feels relevant 20 years later. The 300ZX was the great exception in the line of Z cars. We didn't have traditional Z car styling with the really long nose and the short cabin at the back. And when the 300ZX first appeared on the scene in 1990, you could have landed an alien spacecraft on people's lawns and they would have still looked at this car. This is one of those very classic designs with no gimmicks. And because these cars have been out for so long, there's about every aftermarket piece you possibly want. I don't think it needs anything added or subtracted. You know, giant fins on the rear to make it look better. I admit it, I have a big obnoxious fin on my car. Yeah, let's, let's not do that, huh? If you'd like to make this car ugly, there are people that will help you. So when I first saw the car, I peeked inside, and the interior was just as good as the exterior. It feels like there's more room in here than there really is. I'm a pretty tall guy, and I'm absolutely comfortable. You're not supposed to be able to say, here's my roomy sports car. It's like saying, here's my tiny stadium. They don't go together. This is actually a more attractive cockpit than both the 350 and the 370. That shouldn't be possible, and yet here it is. I and mean, look at the surface breakup. Not only the instrument panel sloping away, but these control pods. Everything is right at your fingertips. Maybe the materials look a bit dated, but overall, it's a really comfortable, pleasant place to be. And usability, compared to the other two Zs, this has got almost twice as much room. This car could definitely be something you use every day. Placing this next to the other Zs, the 300 starts to feel more like a Grand Tourer, which is odd because by itself, this is an awfully agile car. Now throwing it into a corner the first time, again, I'm consistently amazed at how solid this 300 feels. There's a bit of understeer, but nothing that you can't control. Right about the time it happens, you can actually put your foot into it enough that either get a four-wheel drift or maybe even bring the back around. Like that. As a pure, raw sports car, it makes you work for rewards. I'm having to work through these turns. The steering is pretty heavy. Steering never feels too heavy, but you're also very connected to the road. And because there's no traction control, it's you in control of the car. You can place the 300 exactly where you want it. And it's not that it's a small car. You're not in a Miata here by any means. This is a good-sized vehicle. But bottom line, is it a fun car to drive? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. You get into this car and you think, it's 20 years old, it's got 300 horsepower, but really, how fast can it be? It feels to me like the biggest and the heaviest of the three. But as soon as you feel those turbos, this thing pulls like mad. It's like somebody drop kicked you in the ass. 20 years ago, this car was getting zero to 60 times in the low to mid five seconds. And this version here is mostly stock. There's guys that very easily can get over to 400 horsepower. In fact, we had one person contact us for the show who gets 900 at the wheels. This is a hot rod, and there's tons of 300 ZXs out there running reliably. The thing I don't like the most about the 300 has got to be the brakes. It needs a brake upgrade in order to compete with the handling and the power. But there are a lot of amazing brake kits you can put on this car and bring it up to our current expectations of what good braking feels like. What's my favorite thing about the 300ZX? I think it's everything. I gotta say the styling. That's what sports car ownership is about. It's gotta make you happy. Just look at it. You can afford it. You can go very fast for a long time. You're gonna save quite a bit of money and you're gonna wanna go for a drive just because you can. That's how I feel about the 300. The twin turbo 300ZX is proof that a used car can be better than your new one.